And I'm really interested in ways that people make things which are not necessarily artistic. I mean, they're artistic in the sense that they can have formal beauty, but they're not done with an artistic motive. They're done often with a utilitarian motive. That was Martin Perrier, the artist who created the Pavilion in the Trees. And I'm Bob Taylor. At Martin's direction, I built the canopy overhead. Martin Prier once said, I would never insist that the pavilion in the trees be called sculpture. Martin continues, I would say that it's a public amenity, designed by a sculptor, which tried to invest a public facility with a bit more poetry than it otherwise might have. I think what he meant by amenity was an enhancement of what is given. I mean, you can't really improve on nature. Nature is this unbelievably beautiful given. What you can do is sort of enhance it, make a person more aware of it. I think what's important to Martin is the quality of the experience they have. I'm Michael Opping. I'm the chief curator of the Modern Art Museum in Fort Worth. One thread that runs through a lot of his work is a theme that sculpture has an inside and an outside, and particularly with the pavilion in the trees. What happens is you actually walk into the space. I mean, he's creating a, a wooden form that leads you in, that brings you in, and you hover above this basin. Separated from the... the regular world. It is so ethereal that you're really feeling yourself in the place. Anytime I get in the woods like that, I have a lot of great memories of being a kid and playing in the woods. The point of the pavilion is to be up in it and experience all that the woods around you have to offer. And I think that's what Martin would love to hear. I feel myself, I feel myself mingling with the place rather than, oh, that's a beautiful curve, or oh, that's, I love the wood you chose. I think he'd like you to say, I didn't really notice. I just noticed how beautiful the area was. Sound is a very important part of the piece. You'll hear things that you can't hear at ground level. You'll smell things you don't smell at ground level. You'll see an awful lot more than you would at ground level. It's about being way up in the treetops and being able to enjoy that. It's not meant to be iconic. It's not meant to be a brand or a big advertising sign that said, this is art, this is art, this is art. It is public art, it is on public land, but it is a private experience. <laughs> 